Hello everyone and welcome to Excel Lab 2. Uh, to get started with this lab you will need two files. You need Excel Lab 2 instructions file. Also you will need uh, Excel Lab 2 starting file. Uh, I will go ahead and as usual I will open both files side by side. Items uh, covered uh, in lab number 2 as you see here. Format an Excel spreadsheet, merge and center cells, use basic functions. We'll use auto sum, maximum, minimum, average. Uh, also, we'll use fill handle, uh, copy and move uh, uh, cell entries, apply styles. All right, uh, before I get started with this lab, I would like to mention something that we covered in uh, lab number one. So, I, I will just go ahead and open uh, a blank sheet here and show you a demo very quickly. So, uh, I'm not working on lab two right now, please. Uh, this is just something. To, uh, uh, I would like to explain in order to get you ready for lab number two. So I will, after I finish this, uh, this uh, like brief uh, instructions here, I will discard these uh, changes in the document and I will uh, close without saving and then we will start our lab uh, after that. Uh, let's say uh, in this cell here, let's say in cell B3 here as we did in lab number uh, one in Excel, I have uh, equals and then space and then I have four space plus six divided by two. That's exactly what we did in lab number uh, number what? Number one, yes. So let's say I would like to edit this cell here. I need to press what key on the keyboard? F2 or I double click inside the cell to enable the edit mode and if you look button here the edit mode is active and once I press enter it means that I already accepted the changes or I can click on the check mark here to accept and if I am in edit mode if I click on cancel this is exactly like pressing escape on the keyboard now let's say I am in uh, cell D3 and I would like to copy the formula from this cell, cell which is cell B3 to D3 so some of you might do that and that's exactly what we did in lab number one but I need to clear out things so you know how to copy the cell and how you move it and so on and we will practice that in previous labs as well but the point of the first lab was not to teach you how to copy and paste was to teach you the uh, order of operations and how to start uh, a formula so some of you might do that some of you might come here and then press select the formula all right, and then press Control C to copy it. All right, and then go down here. Look, when you go to a new cell, it thinks that you are trying to create a new formula. And now, what happened in cell D3? It puts what? It puts the location of the cell that you clicked on. That you just clicked on, which is cell D3. However, to recover from this scenario, we explained last time. You need to press what on the keyboard? Escape. So that covers uh, this issue and it takes you back to the selection mode and you still have your formula here some of you might do that you might uh, select it and then press ctrl c and then press enter so that means that you copied the, the formula in here and accepted the changes if you go to the new location which is d3 and then press ctrl v what happened you already got the formula and pasted it in that location so that's one scenario all right i will undo that another scenario is to click on the cell that you would like to copy and then press ctrl c and excel will put a moving square all right or rectangle around this cell which means that this is the cell that you will copy from so now i will go to d3 this is your destination you press ctrl v and that's exactly what you did in the previous scenario copying the formula of cell b3 to cell d3 that's what i needed to uh, uh, cover one last thing i will delete what i have in cell d3 and let's say i would like to move this cell from here i click on the border like that and then drag that will move it do you see this small square this is called the fill handle so in lab 2 we will be using the fill handle a lot so if I click on the fill handle and drag down look what happened in each of these cells 
I copied the formula from cell uh, D3 and I put it on the cells below. I hope this is clear now. Okay, so now I will go ahead and close this blank sheet and I will not save it and let's go ahead and read what we have to cover in lab number two in Excel. So looking at the instructions here, it says open Excel lab two starting file. I already did and it says save it as Excel lab two without starting file. So I will go to file and then click on save as. I will save it where? I will save it inside my Microsoft Excel labs, which is the place where I have my solutions. And then I will uh, remove starting file and I will make the name Excel lab 2 and then I will click save now what is next merge and center the title market shares of major uh, phone providers in the United States so I will go ahead and uh, on what range merge it on the range A1 to G1 so you click on the first cell which is cell A1 and then keep holding the left click and then move your mouse cursor right until you reach G1 and then let go and then click on merge and center on the uh, under the home tab under the alignment group you will see merge and uh, center so I'm done with this one it changed the title font to Cambria 14 points bold so let's start with bold and that is Cambria so if you go to the font name and then type C A M Cambria will appear and then press enter and I need the size to be uh, 14 points alright so now uh, it is bigger then the range that I just specified don't worry about that we'll fix that as we progress in uh, in this lab merge and center the subtitle cellular phones uh, sales during five years so I will go to the subtitle do the same thing and then merge and center does it say uh, in the range A2 to G2 yes that's correct and then do what change the subtitle to times new roman bold so i will make it bold and then i will go here and then type time and then times will pop up all right it changes the subtitle we already did that bold the range uh, a3 to a13 and b3 to g3 so uh, let's first uh, do step by step so A3, this is A3 all the way until A13 and then make that what? Make it uh, bold. And then B3, B3 which is this one here all the way to G3. Make it bold. So now we are changing the format. Apply the total style to the range A10 from A10 all the way until F10. You don't include G in this scenario. You go to cell styles and then you choose uh, not title, you choose total. So I will go to total here and that will take care of which one? Number eight, apply the total style. Uh, number nine here it says uh, type this uh, formula here. This formula here you need to type it in uh, cell what? In cell B10 then press enter. So where is cell B10? It's B column row 10 click in that intersection and then uh, equals to start a formula as we usually do okay now I need to type b4 right plus uh, b5 alright plus or you can uh, click on the after you click after you uh, enter plus you click on the cell and then plus and then you click on the cell below it all the way until plus Eight, but you don't plus after you don't put plus after B8 right and then press enter that takes care of this one use the auto sum function to calculate the total in cell C10 for the range C4 all the way until C8 so uh, what we did in cell B10 we calculated what we calculated the total using what using a formula uh, of our uh, choice right we manually uh, entered a formula. Uh, Excel has some built-in formulas. We call we call this um, as functions. So there is a function Excel in Excel that's called the auto sum. Uh, if I click on cell C10, right, and then go to the 
under the home tab it is located under the home home tab if you position your screen uh, to take only the half size of the screen you click on editing and then click on uh, auto sum all right and then select the range that you would like to sum this is very important or you can type the range manually and then press uh, enter all right again if you have the window maximized you will need you will see auto sum directly under the editing group but if you have it positioned on the left side of the screen as we usually do you will see the editing group uh, uh, collapsed as you see here and if you click on the down arrow you will be able to see auto sum all right so we are doing great let's go look at uh, use the auto sum we already did that one use the fill handle okay now we are, go we are going to use the fill handle now to do what to copy the function in cell c10 to the range so in cell c10 to the range d10 all the way until until what until f10 well so what happened now i use the fill handle to copy the formula from this cell apply it on this cell and look look at the formula bar if i move to the right if i move to the right here the range it changes as i click on the new location and what i did now i used uh, the uh, uh, cell reference to point to a new location using the same exact function in cell in cell what in cell c10 right so let's go ahead and go to uh, which one you use the fill handle we already finished number uh, 13 one second no let's go back to number 11 we're working on number 11 use the fill handle to copy the function in cell c10 this is exactly what we finished now now auto sum the range b4 all the way to f4 and cell g4 so you will go to cell g4 which is this cell okay well do you see what's happening now because i have the cell c10 selected it thinks that i'm changing the range so i to, to recover from this scenario press escape perfect now if i click again now i put a position my selection in a new location so a number uh, 12 it says auto sum the range b4 all the way until f4 in cell g4 so what you can do there are many ways to do that you can use the manual way which is uh, equals and then you point to this cell and then plus but i'm telling you to use the auto sum so this is not gonna work so what is the other scenario that you can do you can select this range here and then go to the auto sum press on auto sum and that will put the auto sum in the cell the empty cell below total sales as you see in here or or undo that control z click on cell g4 and then go to editing and then click on auto sum it already knows that you have some numbers beside this cell once you press enter you get the same same thing to confirm that you have the uh, correct total here if you highlight this range and look at the bottom here it says you hear a uh, basic information about this selection the sum is three four three zero seven one seven and that's exactly what i have up there so now you have some statistics if you uh, if you right click on these statistics you can control what appears and what does not appear and it gives you uh, an idea about what you have on and off on your keyboard as well so uh, this is something that you might find handy in the future we found we finished number 12 use the fill handle to copy the formula in cell g4 to the range g5 all the way to g8 so you click on g4 once you click on g4 you have access to the fill handle you click and drag down until you uh, copy the formula to the cells below it and that gives you the total cell Okay, now what do we have uh, in here it says uh, it says right now uh, let's go ahead and look at one more which is going to uh, the next one uh, it says here apply the accounting format to the range before to uh, uh, 
to what to G8. So B4 is this cell. You click on it and then keep holding the left click and drag until you select all the way until G8 as you see here. And then you go to the home tab under the number group. You click on this down arrow and then choose the accounting style. Well, do you see what happened to the title? I told you don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. All right, now uh, apply the accounting already did. Auto fit the contents of each column. Don't display the hashes or the pound sign. What do I mean by that? L look at the column here. If this column is narrow, it means that you have contents here that don't fit in this cell. As you see here in this column E. To fix that, you double click as we did in lab number one and that will auto fit. That's what I mean by that. But if you have it displayed correctly, you are good with this one, all right? So now remove the dollar sign from the range B4 all the way to F8. So you sel so this is a different range. So it's very important that you start selecting again. But be careful when you select your white cross has to be inside the cell. If you go to the border of the cell and then click and drag, now you are moving the cell. And that's a big, a big issue that you need to be careful when you work with Excel. So make sure that you have what? You have the white empty cross that you see here. You go to the middle, not on the edge. If you go to the edge, it means that you are, mo you are moving. You don't go to the fill handle. You don't uh, click on the fill handle if I don't ask you to do so. If I tell you to just select, it means that you need to be in the middle of the cell until you see the white cross as you see here. Click and then drag all the way until F8. Uh, until F8, yes, that's correct, and then do what? It says remove the dollar sign and set the decimal places to zero. So now look at that. Where to go from here? Do you remember the right click? Now it comes handy. You right click on your range, and then you go all the way to format cells. You click on it, right? And then you make your decimal places zero. Make sure that your accounting is selected if some something else uh, is selected you will not see what i see here so you make sure that the number tab is open you, accounting is available to you you make this zero and then you make the dollar sign none and then click on okay so that's take care or that uh, takes care of this uh, issue uh, in here it says calculate the total sale for each individual company in range g4 to G8. So I have here G4 to G8. We already finished that. So in here we finished this one here. So uh, I think I guess we are good on this step here. So where we do it, where we did that? We did that in here. It says. Use the fill handle to copy the function in cell G4 to the range G5 all the way until G8. So that takes care of this part. Now, uh, let's look at what we have next. It says here use the maximum function to display the highest value of the range B4 to B8 in cell B11. So this is cell B11, all right? Now make sure that I have my selection. Yes, this is sum for this one. By the way, look when I when I double click on the total to make sure that you are getting the correct results and you did not mess up your numbers while moving through your Excel sheet. You confirm by making sure that your uh, range right range is highlighted when you double click on it, which means that you are getting the total for uh, these uh, quarters or these years. All right. You press escape, you get out of here, and then you go to cell B11, and then you need to get the maximum. So you go to the home tab under the editing group, you uh, click, you don't click on auto sum direct, you click on the down arrow beside auto sum, and then it shows, I need what? I need the highest, maximum. So what range? It is this range here. So you highlight the range, and then press enter. All right, in cell uh, B12, you need to get the lowest for the range B4 to uh, B8. The, the lowest, which means the minimum. 
So you click first on B12 and then you go to the home tab and then you click uh, under the editing group, you click on the down arrow beside auto sum and then you choose min. But you don't press enter until you choose the correct range that is specified in the instructions and then press enter. Now, what do we have next? If I scroll down here, it says calculate the average of the range uh, B4 to B8 in cell B13. So you go to B13 and then go to the home tab. Same thing under the editing group and then click on the down arrow and then choose average. Make sure that you highlight your right range and then press uh, enter. Uh, it says here select the range B11 all the way to B3. B11 all the way to B3. And then use the fill handle. This is the fill handle. So I go to the fill handle and then make sure that I have the solid black uh, cross that I see in here and then copy the functions in these uh, cells to the range C11 right from here C11 all the way until what? until G13 perfect that's it that's it so now I still have one more thing it says here delete row 9 so how do I delete this empty row you select it and then right click on the number and then it choose delete and that's basically how your uh, Excel sheet should look like after you finish and to confirm if you go to the instructions here and then scroll down make sure that you have I have here the, the same exact values under total the same exact values in the maximum minimum and then the uh, yearly sales it looks exactly identical so you have a sample solution here make sure that your solution looks as you see in the uh, instructions and then after you finish you uh, save this file here save it and then upload it uh, to blackboard so that takes us to the end of this lab i hope you did learn something new today and i will see you in future labs thank you everyone